Biodiversity and Evolution. In grade 8, you learned about the concept of species, classification of organisms using the hierarchical taxonomic system and the advantage of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem. In grade 9, you will explain the importance of biodiversity, find out how changes in the environment may affect species extinction and relate species extinction to the failure of populations of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. In any ecosystem, organisms need a balanced environment. A balanced ecosystem is one in which all living and non-living things are interacting successfully. If any part of the ecosystem is disturbed, other parts will also be disturbed. Different parts of the ecosystem interact with one another. Changes to one part affect other parts. When all the members of the species die, that species place in the ecosystem is gone forever. What is biodiversity and why is it important? The total number of species present on Earth has increased steadily over time, punctuated by five periods of mass extinction and periodic minor extinction events. From a single species which came into existence over 3.6 billion years ago, an estimated 8.7 million species have evolved to populate the planet today. The tremendous number and variety of species that exist on the planet is referred to as biological diversity or biodiversity. The term biodiversity can apply to diversity at all levels of biological organization. Diversity among individuals within a particular species, the diversity of species in an ecosystem, and the diversity of ecosystems on Earth. It applies to terrestrial, aquatic, and atmospheric environments, including those arising from extensive human modifications, such as agricultural landscapes and urban areas. A population is a group of living things within a certain area that are all of the same species. Several different populations may be found in a community. A population of one kind may affect a population of another kind within the community. A jungle has a greater amount of biological diversity or biodiversity than a cornfield. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life in the area. In a jungle community, some populations such as ants, fungi, and ferns can be very large in number. Other populations such as tigers and snakes have fewer members. The Benefits of Biodiversity The value of a species is often determined by the degree to which it benefits humans. This includes tangible benefits like food, building materials, and medicine and indirect benefits such as aesthetic, spiritual, and cultural enrichment. However, valuable too is the role of biodiversity plays in the structure and function of the ecosystems on which all life depends. It is vital that the fragile interconnections among species of every kind are maintained. Biodiversity makes this possible. How did biodiversity come about? The rich diversity of life on Earth has arisen from the process of evolution, defined as a successive change in inherited traits and adaptations of biological populations of organisms over time. Largely responsible are two processes, mutation and natural selection. Acting on a template of environmental change, some of which is caused by the evolving life itself. Important Evolutionary Events in Planetary History The evolution of life on Earth has been characterized by ongoing increases in the number of species, punctuated by recurrent and mass extinctions events that greatly reduce the species number. These patterns are influenced by biological changes in the environment some of which are caused by activities of life itself. Key Concepts Population pertains to the number of organisms of the same species living in a certain place. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life in an area. Communities with many different species will be able to withstand environmental changes better than communities with only a few species. Populations can be of the same size, but they may have different densities. When we consider the number of individuals per unit area, we are referring to the density of the population. 
Differences in population density in any community may be attributed to many factors. Population sizes change when new members move into the ecosystem. They decrease when members move out of an ecosystem. The birth rate and death rates can also affect a population's size. Anything that limits the size of a population like certain environmental conditions are called limiting factors. Limiting factors keep a population from increasing in size and help balance an ecosystem. Examples of limiting factors are the availability of food, water, and living conditions. Light, temperature, and soil nutrients are also limiting factors because they help determine the types of organisms that can live in an ecosystem. The maximum population size an environment can support is called its carrying capacity. If the population size rises above the carrying capacity, organisms die because they cannot meet all their needs. Key Concepts Population sizes vary among organisms. They change with the number of births and when they move into an ecosystem. They also change when members die or move out of an ecosystem. Limiting factors are environmental conditions that keep a population from increasing in size and help balance ecosystems. The carrying capacity is affected by changes in the environment. When a species population becomes so low that only a few remain, the species is considered endangered will possibly become extinct. In the Philippines, some terrestrial species like the tamarau in Mindoro, mouse deer in Palawan, Philippine deer, monkey-eating eagle, and aquatic species like the dugong found in Negros, Batangas, and Leyte are in danger of extinction. Sometimes, there is a particular species that declines so fast that it becomes endangered and is said to be threatened. In a study conducted by field biologists on population size and distribution of Philippine fauna, they reported that as of 1991, 89 species of birds, 44 species of mammals, and 8 species of reptiles are internationally recognized as threatened. These include also the Philippine eagle or monkey-eating eagle in the list of Philippine endangered species. Extinction is the disappearance of a species when the last of its members die. Changes to habitats can threaten organisms with extinction. As populations of people increase, the impact of their growth and development is altering the face of the earth and pushing many other species to the brink of extinction. Key Concepts Extinction occurs when the last member of the species dies. When the population of species begins declining rapidly, the species is said to be a threatened species. A species is endangered when its population has become so low that it is possible of becoming extinct. Human actions have resulted in habitat loss and degradation that have accelerated the rate of extinction. Local and global environmental issues, problems that are also affecting your community. Deforestation One of the country's environmental problems is the rapid rate of which trees are cut down. In the Philippines, the major causes of deforestation are Kaingin farming, illegal logging, conversion of agricultural lands to housing projects, forest fires, and typhoons. As a consequence of cutting down trees, the following effects could take place. Soil erosion, floods, decrease in wildlife resources that will eventually lead to extinction. Wildlife depletion. As human population gets bigger, huge space is needed for shelter, for growing crops, and for industries. Deforestation is one of the major causes of the disappearance of wildlife species. If they cannot find enough space, many will die or become extinct. Some species may become endangered or in the verge of becoming extinct. In other cases, some animals may be threatened. These are some of the threatened animals in the Philippines. Monkey-eating eagle, tarsier, and dugong. Water pollution. A major problem in lakes, rivers, and ponds is eutrophication. It happens when the concentration of organic nutrients that comes from domestic garbage and thrown in bodies of water increases rapidly. It is supposed to be a slow process, but man's activities hasten it up. This is an example of eutrophication process. Another effect of water pollution is mass death of fish or fish kill. A fish kill usually happens when there is an increase in concentration of organic nutrients in bodies of water. 
This condition causes algal bloom and growth of aquatic plants. When the algae die, they sink to the bottom. The process of decomposition proceeds. This process uses up oxygen and as a result, aquatic animals die due to lack of oxygen. Bodies of water are also polluted with toxic waste, untreated sewage, and fertilizer runoffs from farmlands. One class of dangerous chemicals present in water is PCB or polychlorinated biphenyl. PCBs are toxic waste produced in the making of paints, inks, and electrical insulators. Through the process of biological magnification, the PCB becomes concentrated in the body tissues of water organisms. Biological magnification is the build-up of pollutants in an organisms at higher trophic levels in a food chain. Fish living in contaminated ecosystems contain built-up high concentration of PCB. The fish were not killed by the chemicals, but they stored them in their tissues. As the salmon feeds on the smaller fish, it took in the PCB in their bodies. Like the smaller fish, the salmon was not killed by the PCB. It stored the PCB in its tissues. The concentration of PCB in the salmon has rise to 5,000 times the concentration of PCB in the water in which it fed. Air Pollution Pollutants can enter the air as gases, liquids, or solids. Cars burn fuel and produce harmful gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons. In Metro Manila, where a great volume of cars travel each day, smog blankets the area. Nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons from car exhaust react with water vapor or dust particles and produce new irritating chemicals. Carbon dioxide acts like a blanket over the earth, holding in the that would otherwise radiate back into space. The trapping of heat by gases in the Earth's atmosphere is called greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a natural process, but as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases, greenhouse effect also intensifies. This will lead to global warming. Global warming is an increase in the Earth's temperature from the rapid build-up of carbon dioxide and other gases. This, in turn, could change the world climate patterns. Factories and power plants that burn coal are also major contributors to air pollution. Coal contains sulfur. When coal burns, sulfur combines with oxygen in the air to form sulfur dioxide with choking odor. Power plants also burn coal to give off particulates into the air. Particulates are tiny particles of soot, dust, and smoke. These particulates block sunlight and get into your lungs when you breathe. Destruction of Coastal Resources Coral reefs and coastal mangrove forests in the Philippines serve as breeding grounds and nurseries of marine fishes. But due to man's activities, coastal areas are getting destroyed through the years. Some of these activities include the following. Deforestation, agricultural activities and mining activities, dynamite fishing and moroami, coastal areas conversion to beach resorts and residential areas, Overharvesting Acid precipitation Acid precipitation is commonly known as acid rain. Rainwater is normally acidic because carbon dioxide is normally present. Other pollutants, mostly sulfur and nitrogen oxides, make rainwater even more acidic with a pH of 5.6 or lower. Emissions from factories and from exhaust of motor vehicles are some examples of pollutant. Acid rain can be harmful to living things. It causes yellowing of leaves of trees and causes leaves to fall. Along with nutrients being lost through direct leaching from leaves and no movement of nutrients in forest litter, nutrients can be lost from the soil. Acid water flowing through the soil can exchange acidic hydrogen ions for essential plant nutrients ions such as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. If these nutrients migrate beneath the rooting zone, they become unavailable to tree roots. Human activities and overpopulation have caused most of the environmental problems nowadays. People are beginning to realize that the way they interact with the environment must change to ensure the survival of all living things. This is one big challenge to maintain the resources needed for survival while ensuring that they will still be available in the future. This is a practice called sustainable development. This means that a sustainable society should live under the caring capacity of the environment. 
This means that the rate at which society uses renewable resources does not exceed the rate at which the resources are generated. Key Concepts The principal causes of deforestation are illegal logging, kaingin farming, forest fires, and conversion of agricultural lands to housing projects and typhoons. The effects of deforestation include soil erosion, floods, and depletion of wildlife resources. The major cause of wildlife extinction is the loss of habitat. Coral reef destruction is caused by dynamite fishing in Muroami, while mangrove destruction is caused by over-harvesting and conversion of the area into other uses. In eutrophication, nutrients are washed away from the land to enrich bodies of water. It causes excessive growth of aquatic plants and algae and results in algal bloom, which eventually die and decompose. The process depletes the oxygen dissolved in water, causing fish and other aquatic organisms to die. Acid rain is a result of air pollution, mostly from factories and motor vehicles. Sustainable development means that a society should live under the carrying capacity of the environment.